On June 19, 1953, the U.S. government executed Julius and Ethel Rosenberg. The two Americans had been convicted of spying for the Soviet Union during World War II. It was one of the largest incidents of espionage in American history and one of the defining events of the dawn of the atomic age. It also set the stage for the arms race that would define the Cold War. And the story started right here in Albuquerque. In 1945, Ethel's brother, David Greenglass, was working as a machinist on the Manhattan Project in Los Alamos. On the weekends, he commuted to Albuquerque, to Freeman's Apartments, at 209 North High Street. He shared room number four with his wife, Ruth. But the Army Sergeant had a secret. He was a KGB spy, codenamed Bumblebee. His sister had convinced him to pass drawings of the nuclear bomb's trigger mechanisms to the Soviets. On June 2nd, courier Harry Gold appeared on Green Glass's doorstep. The two matched pieces of a torn jello box to confirm their comrade's identity. And while Gold waited downtown at the then Hilton Hotel, Green Glass prepared the drawings. He sat at a humble table in his apartment and sketched what he could remember about the atomic bomb's trigger mechanisms. He then passed the drawings to Gold for $500. Ironically, Ruth Greenglass is said to have purchased a $100 war bond with part of the payment. Within a few days, the information about the nuclear weapon was in Soviet hands. In 1951, Green Glass provided evidence against his sister, Ethel Rosenberg, and her husband in their trial. The owners of Freeman's apartments even shipped the table where Green Glass made his sketches from Albuquerque to Washington, D.C. to be used as evidence. The Rosenbergs were convicted of passing top secret information about radar, sonar, jet propulsion, and nuclear weapon designs to the Soviets. They died by electric chair in 1953. Greenglass, on the other hand, had exchanged his testimony for a plea bargain. He served prison time and then lived out his life under an assumed name. The place he once lived, however, continued its story. Carrie and Steve Grant purchased the home from the Freeman estate in 2001. They initially converted the 1912 building into a single family home, and they lived in the historic residence for several years. However, they reimagined the house as a bed and breakfast in 2008. It's now part of the downtown historic bed and breakfasts of Albuquerque, which includes several other buildings along this historic block in East Downtown. Guests can stay the night in what is now known as the Spy House and can even book Green Glass's former apartment for the night. Many of the details in the bedroom and the kitchenette are original, including the very table where Green Glass sat to sketch the nuclear weapon. This building at 209 North High Street remains an important landmark in New Mexico's atomic story. For Hidden Albuquerque, I'm Ashley Biggers.